Okay, so I'm running the app and let me show you. Here are the two files that I pasted under the audio folder. And these are the ones we're going to be using. So let me hide that again, as well as the terminal. And we said we wanted to play an audio when the notification popped up, like it did right now. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and firstly create a constant out here. Let's call it an audio object and we'll have two different types of audio up an error and the first one will be the following public audio And then for the second one, we'll have this. Okay, so this notification poses an on show method and in here um, this is where we want to actually play the sound right so let's do that and see what happens now to our application I'm gonna refresh the page and turn this remote on Okay, hope you heard that. And like I said, if you don't really like this audio, we can you can change it for something else. But now what you notice is that it's going to be repeating and ringing every time. So we'll work on that a little later. For now, let's also play an audio when we can't reach the remote. And to accomplish that, we need to modify this a little bit. Right now we don't really show a notification or anything. So let's try that. All right, so let me go ahead and edit this one. refresh the app and turn it on we'll wait for the ping and it seems like we can connect to localhost 8080 which is not something that we were expecting and I will make a follow-up video with a fix for this in the meantime let me edit this back again um, if you notice here I'm gonna turn this off if you notice here we lost the protocol HTTP and by this point I know the reason why that is but let me just go ahead and save this see we got that back and now we are actually trying to go to HTTP go instead so this time you can hear it and you can see it 
we are doing well so far.